Hey you one, I hope you're all good. Well done, we are in week four of our home learning and everybody's doing such an amazing job. There's some brilliant, amazing photos of all your work onto Purple Mash. So well done, well done everybody and well done mummies and well done daddies and anyone else is helping, well done, it's brilliant. Um, we've been looking at Monty, haven't we, this week? Um, his little film that we watched about the penguin and the little boy and I've loved seeing all of your photos of you guys thinking about how Monty feels and what it might look like, how we can use our body language and how we can use our eyes and our expression and our mouths to make us look sad and make us look happy. Um, and we are so lucky because on Sunday it snowed. And I bet all of you absolutely loved the snow. I know I did. I went out and I went sledging and I built a snowman. And in fact, my snowman is still alive. He's in the back garden still. He hasn't melted. Um, and I just wanted to say I hope you're enjoying what we're doing this week. I know on Wednesday that one of our challenges is to build a scene to become creative and make our own little scene of Antarctica and think about the animals that live there, what it might look like, what the landscape might look like. And so I've been having a little think. After making the snow last week, um, which mine wasn't as good and then I saw Rivers and River did an amazing job and he inspired me to make some more snow so I did and I made it using corn flour and baby oil which I found in the back of a cupboard in the bathroom um, and it works so much better and it's got a really good feel to it it actually feels like real snow and you can push it and mould it together um, so I've had another go at that I was inspired by River um, and I've also had a little go at making my own penguins and making a seal um, and thinking about what the um, landscape might look like. So some snowy mountains, maybe a little iceberg. And I want to show you what I've made. I've also had a little go at making a krill, which um, is quite a big krill, but I'm going to see if I can turn this around so I can show you what I've made. Oh, I'm not really sure how to do that. 